Hello everyone, welcome to the most exciting and most explosive part of this year, astrologically speaking at least, and welcome to Salon Cosmic. Thank you so much for joining this space and tuning in with us into the Cosmic Channel, welcoming the energies of this new moon happening on the 28th of July at 5 degrees Leo. Join me on a journey into the jungle. Listen. The wind blowing through the endlessness of treetops, monkeys screeching, branches cracking, birds flapping, a herd of elephants trumpeting from the distance, a river rippling, the air vibrating with parrots, butterflies, crickets, bumblebees, dragonflies, buzzing, chirping, jetting, dancing, fluttering. An even sound carpet equally woven by each and every inhabitant of the jungle. Each animal, each plant, each element adding one stitch to the colorful pattern. Until a booming roar shatters this anarchic peace, penetrating to the core of each living cell in the jungle, shivering every Silence. Life stands still in the jungle when the lion roars. Welcome to Leo season, everyone. This lion, it's roaring inside you. Can you feel it? Can you feel the juiciness suddenly bubbling again in your backbone? Your heart pounding with joy, playfulness and vitality flooding your system. You remember who you are, what you came here to do and, most importantly, you know that you can do it. This is my medicine, the lion says proudly, stepping on the edge of an exalted rock spore, wondering with relish. I am the sun, the face of eternal truth, cosmic intelligence, pure consciousness, the enlightened mind. My heart, made of gold, a portion of the sunlight, projected on earth to further the will of the divine sun in its creative play. Father Sky, Mother Earth. Spotlight on the king of the jungle. Life is a stage. The beings of the jungle breathe a sigh of relief and quickly switch into immediate exuberance. The king wants to play? Let's play! And the scenery turns into a musical. Mere cats wearing tutus, singing praises to the courage of the ruler of animality. Ants gathering from all four directions, joining forces to bring the crown and place it on the king's mighty mane. Monkeys drumming groovy rhythms on turtle shells while flamingos scurrying over to lift the adventurous emperor into the air and drop him right into a geyser of water squirting out of elephant trunks. The pantries of the royal dwelling are opened and the supplies for the winter are generously and joyfully divided among those present at the theatrical feast. The sun is home and the new journey that we are on now for some months is reaching its peak. 
we are starting to really feel good about this new chapter of our life. We feel connected with the truth of who we are, realigning with the power, joy and courage to shine our light into the world. Ideas, imaginations and projects that we have been dreaming about in the last months are starting to manifest. Feeling excited to share our gifts, we are ready to go all in, do it all, give everything to see our vision come to life, here, now. Jupiter is adding an extra sparkle of optimism and understanding to the excitement that this new moon in Leo is offering. Finally, we feel on top of things and the stone on our crown is shining in its brightest version. Enjoy your light, but don't be blinded. Jupiter is going retrograde right at this new moon, taking us all the way back to where we started in spring, giving us a chance to review our path of self-growth ever since. It is an invitation to use the time until November and look around in this space of expansion, relaxing into what is rather than pushing further. Allow yourself to feel what you are creating and who you are becoming. Again, you are wondering, pausing, feeling, evaluating. No, I'm finally going. I want to go further, higher, faster. Really? Think again. Where did that lead us the last time? Yes, exactly, into quite a mess. We are purging the old world, and I guess it is normal for old patterns to come up, but let's bring consciousness to our impulses. The North Node is in Taurus. We are learning to build attuned to the heartbeat of Mother Earth. Life moves in cycles. There is no linear growth in nature. Even Jupiter, the planet of growth, stops going forward to review. Going backwards to go inwards does not mean to stop growing. What have I been growing? How have I been expanding? Am I building solidly? Sustainably? Is it attuned to my heart? Is it attuned to what the universe is asking me to do? Which place are my desires coming from? Is it my heart? Or some narcissistic ego stuff? Or fear? Take a moment to shift your attention towards the bigger picture and lift your heads towards the horizon. Behind the bright sun and the blue sky, you might be already sensing the lightnings. What the king of the jungle might not be aware of while parting on his island of bliss is that it is just an island. An island between past and future karma and dharma, shipping on the stream of life straight towards the crossroads of destiny, where Uranus, the planet of sudden change, Mars, the god of action, and the North Node have been bringing themselves into position for quite some time already to conspire us towards our highest purpose, urging our soul into growth. It is just some days down the stream from the new moon away that the party could be turning into a hangover. For our highest good only, of course. You might already feel it as electrifying excitement pulsating through your veins. Vibrations of the future are already simmering under the surface of the earth, ready to burst into being and change your life forever. A thunderstorm ushering all the guests of the jungle party back into their dwellings. A drought running the water sources dry. The lion's father coming over for a vacation. 
a bigger energy coming in, a big emotion moving through, a big understanding sinking in. The universe's ways to conspire our soul towards growth are eternal and they don't necessarily always feel pleasant. I like my ways and I don't like change. There is so much stuck energy we humans like to accumulate and hold on to that it does need a loud drum beat every now and then to bring us back into the flow of life. This drum beat is what the days after the new moon are ready to offer us. So be ready to be woken up to get free. So what? The curtains are closed? The party's over? Spotlight off? All in Davis stopped? Hell no, please don't. Get on the stage. Put yourself out there. Start your project. Make your dreams come true. Roar, sing, dance. The universe is on your side. The stars are on your side. Allow joy to guide you. Be patient. Create the best version of yourself to last. Anchor yourself in yourself as solid as you can. And remember, the creative spark that flows through you, the unique color of the flame in your heart is just one color of so many that together form the rainbow of life. Cultivate your life and shine as bright as you can to offer the most glorious version of yourself to the collective. This is how we build the new world. supportive for you it is a great pleasure having you here with us at salon cosmic i am wishing you a blessed time sending you so much love and hope you are tuning in with us again next time